Hey, hi friends. Uh, today I'll explain you how do we create initial load groups in SAP Central Finance and what is the relevance of those initial load groups. So we are in S4HANA 2020 version currently. So to create initial load groups, we first uh, go to CFIN IMG. And then in CFIN IMG, we have two tabs, uh, Central Finance Source System Settings and Target System Settings. So we will go to Target System Settings and then we go to initial load, initial load uh, settings. Uh, no, not initial load settings, initial load for financial accounting and initial load for selected company codes. So first let's explain what is initial load group. So initial load group is basically uh, for any company code. If you want to do initial load, you need to have that company code fixed into one initial load group. So one company in initial load group, you can have multiple company codes, uh, but it is recommended to keep the lead initial load group light. Uh, let's say if you have one company code with 10 million documents and another company code with 100 documents, it is fine to merge. Have two company codes in one load group, but if you have two big companies or three big company codes with millions of transactions, it is not recommended to put it in one initial load group. Also, do not put cross country company codes in initial load group because of tax reasons. Like if you have a company code of Germany, and company code of China and company code of US. So it is always good to have three initial load group per country. So the way we create is we go here to delete in, uh, define initial load groups. And then I will say new entry. And I can say test test load group for demo, for example, and here you select it and now you assign a company code. And under this, you have to tell which logical system you are trying to use. Let's say I'm using uh, ED100 and I will select company code. Uh, what, what should I make company code? 1000. Uh, okay, 1000 is already added. So I will try to CFN1, yes. And I've added my company code. This company code is exist is getting already working in EPD system. It is my ECC system. And then I save it. Of course, it will ask for some transport. So I will say test and it will save it on my name. So now you see you have created an initial load group with company code CFIN1. But when you execute the initial load group, if you come out, here, execute initial load group. It does not ask for company code. It always asks for initial load group. And here you have to tell system what is your initial load group. So for example, I was creating for 10 test. I will say test. And I can tell system, let's say you execute 10 jobs. And there are four steps in initial load. Uh, first is data extraction. Data extraction is something when you execute this step like this, uh, it will take some time. Uh, system reads through via RFC connection, system reads the source system, uh, what, what is happening with the source, uh, it compiles the data from the source system. And also um, what it does is it brings all the data into staging tables. It extracts and it puts it into CFIN underscore ACCIT and several other staging tables. Then we do mapping simulation. Once the data extraction completes, it takes few hours, it depends on the volume. Then you do mapping simulation, which you simulate and system tells you that there are any objects where mapping is missing. You work on that. And then of course, a posting simulation, exactly like same mapping simulation, but here simulate the posting. So you see whether your uh, system is uh, capable of posting and what will be the end result after posting. For example, any error come. It's exactly like in FB50, you simulate the posting and systems gives you error before before you save it, for example, any difference in the currencies or anything. It does not post. And then you start posting, which is actual posting. And here system starts reading all the documents you have extracted in data extraction. And it is start posting it into CFIN or S4HANA system uh, one by one in batches. And then once everything is complete, your initial load is complete. Then you can go to your ECC system and you can mark initial load as complete. So. Uh, that's a execution. And then we have a monitor initial load. So here it is the same step. It is just a monitor. 
it explains you what is going on how many document posted how many open or uh, let me show you how it looks like for example group 1000 uh, you see seven finished so it is all that, that's a status of uh, initial load and if i see the same status of execute and if i check uh, for 1000 uh, because it has already posted i will check the status of uh, monitor postings uh, yeah so it says already finished this is the package and this is already finished and here is the package completed successfully It means there are no error so you can monitor your initial load group uh, end to end that was about uh, today's topic of covering initial load and initial load group i will come with more topic uh, in this simple small format and i will show you things in system in coming videos stay tuned and thank you so much